Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A and B are real numbers. Then exactly one of the following is true. A is greater than B, A is equal to B, or A is less than B. Now, to say exactly one of the following of these is true is shorthand for saying A is greater than B, or A equal to B, or A is less than B, and it is not the case that a is greater than b and a is equal to b, and it is not the case that a is equal to b and a is less than b, and it is not the case that a is greater than b and a is less than b. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system, and I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now in our real number system, the real numbers are equipped with a subset, which we call the set of positive real numbers. And it's denoted as R plus. Now in this video, we are going to be using axiom nine, which says the following. For all real numbers X, exactly one of the following is true. X is a positive real number, X is equal to zero, or the negative X is a positive real number. And again, to say exactly one of the following is true, is shorthand for saying x is a positive real number, or x equals zero, or negative x is a positive real number. And it is not the case that x is a positive real number and x equals zero. And it is not the case that x is equal to zero and negative x is a positive real number. And it is not the case that x is a positive real number and the negative x is a positive real number. Now, our definitions of greater than and less than are as follows. Suppose A and B are real numbers. We say A is greater than B if A minus B is a positive real number. And we say A is less than B if B is greater than A, right? And B is greater than A comes from the definition of greater than. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to be using two preliminary results which we have proven, and they are as follows. Suppose A and B are real numbers. Then A minus B is equal to zero if and only if A is equal to B. And also, suppose A and B are real numbers, then the negative of A minus B is equal to B minus A. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, to start off the proof, applying axiom nine, if we take X to be A minus B, then exactly one of the following is true. A minus B is a positive real number, A minus B is equal to zero, or the negative of A minus B is a positive real number. And the idea is, we can show that each of these three statements are equivalent to these three statements respectively. And we can show those equivalences by applying the definition of greater than, the definition of less than, and our two preliminary results. First of all, by definition of greater than, to say that a minus b is a positive real number is equivalent to saying a is greater than b. Second, by lemma one, to say a minus b is equal to zero is equivalent to saying a is equal to b. And third, by lemma two, since the negative of a minus b is a positive real number and the negative of a minus b is equal to b minus a, this is equivalent to saying b minus a is a positive real number. But by definition of greater than, to say that b minus a is a positive real number is equivalent to saying b is greater than a. But then, by definition of less than, to say that b is greater than a is equivalent to saying a is less than b. So, putting this all together, we have shown that a minus b is a positive real number is equivalent to saying a is greater than b. a minus b is equal to zero is equivalent to saying a is equal to b. And 
negative of a minus b is a positive number is equivalent to saying a is less than b. So we have shown that each of these three statements are equivalent to these three statements, respectively. And because of those equivalences, it intuitively makes sense that we would want to substitute each of these three guys with these three guys, respectively. And so we would have exactly one of the following is true. A is greater than B, A equals B, or A is less than B. And so we will have proven exactly what we wanted to prove, and so we're done. But instead of doing that, let's be more precise. And to show that exactly one of the following of these is true, we're first going to show A is greater than B, or A equals B, or A is less than B. And then we're going to show it cannot be the case that A is greater than B, A equals B. It cannot be the case that A is equal to B and A is less than B. And it cannot be the case that A is greater than B and A is less than B. Now, to see why A is greater than B, or A equals B, or A is less than B, that comes from the fact that A minus B is a positive real number, or A minus B equals zero, or the negative A minus B is a positive real number. Because if we split this up into cases, well first, if A minus B is a positive real number, then due to this equivalence, we have A is greater than B. So we have A is greater than B, or A equals B, or A is less than B. Second, if A minus B is equal to zero, then because of this equivalence, we have A is equal to B. And therefore, A is greater than B, or A equals B, or A is less than B. And third, if the negative of A minus B is a positive real number, then due to this equivalence, we have A is less than B. And therefore, A is greater than B, or A equals B, or A is less than B. So no matter which case we have, it follows that A is greater than B, or A equals B, or A is less than B. And now, let's see why it cannot be the case that more than one of these is true. First, if A is greater than B and A equals B, then according to these equivalences, since A is greater than B, we have A minus B is a positive real number. Since A is equal to B, we have A minus B is equal to zero. Thus, we have A minus B is a positive real number and A minus B is equal to zero. But according to axiom nine, it cannot be the case that both A minus B is a positive real number and A minus B is equal to zero. So we reach a contradiction. So then what happens if we have A equals B and A is less than B? Well, according to these equivalences, since A is equal to B, we have A minus B is equal to zero. Since A is less than B, we have the negative A minus B is a positive real number. So both of these are true, but according to axiom nine, it cannot be the case that both of these are true. So we reach a contradiction. And finally, what happens if A is greater than B and A is less than B? Well, according to these equivalences, since A is greater than B, we have A minus B is a positive real number. Since A is less than B, we have the negative of A minus B is a positive real number. And thus, A minus B is a positive real number and the negative of A minus B is a positive real number. But according to axiom nine, it cannot be the case that both A minus B is a positive real number and the negative A minus B is a positive real number. So we reach a contradiction. And so putting this all together now, we have shown that A is greater than B, or A equals B, or A is less than B. That's what we stated in this paragraph. And then we also showed it cannot be the case that A is greater than B and A is equal to B. It cannot be the case that A is equal to B and A is less than B. And it cannot be the case that A is greater than B and A is less than B. That's what we wrote down in this last paragraph. And so because of that, that's precisely what it means when we say exactly one of the following is true. A is greater than B, A equals B, or A is less than B. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.